Isn't that the one that kid brought in that someone had drawn on the uh, Avengers logo? Yeah, Call same book. the spine of that, though. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. It's, uh, believe it or not, though, it's still connected. The staples are still connected. That's the only thing that's still connected, right? Just yeah. the staples. Yeah. The inside pages look good. The cover is just trashed. Trashed. Look at that pompous look on his face and that yeah. mustache. Yeah, that's why, that's why he gets his ass kicked. Guys with mustaches. Yeah. Yeah. I hate Can't those. Yeah. Him. Nope, not at all. Shifty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this is the first appearance of the collector. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's twenty dollars, low grade, but it's not it's as bad. Early, it's an early Goliath appearance, or yeah, and then there's a couple other ten, eight dollar books here. You get some, you get some like this one beat. Oh my god! But a so, Goliath issue. But for four bucks, someone you know, someone that wants to just read a copy, even read, you gotta be careful reading this too. Oh, yeah. But um, but just to have it to fill the hole in the collection for four bucks, a, a you can do it. I guess, right? Until yeah. You can upgrade to something yep. Else. Exactly. Now look at this. Same as Frogman, Birdman, yeah. Catman. I think by Not me putting first print, steer people away from. Yeah, people go. I don't want this yeah. book now. It's a first print. But yeah, you got Frogman, Catman, Ape Man, and Birdman. Those are these are the first appearances. It's not the Hanna Barbera Birdman. I'll tell you no, that. definitely not. And this isn't the DC Catman because the DC Catman is awesome. He's, the, he's a boxer, right? The... Yeah, but he, but he lived with he actually lived with lions for a while and stuff. Mm, he was in the Secret Six that. back in the. No, that's Wildcat Wild was the Cat, boxer. Yeah. 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 No, Catman lived with the lions and yeah, I don't really that whatnot. Not. Yeah, he was in Secret Six. That guy's that guy's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, again, it's beat, but for ten dollars, it's uh, <laughs> attacked hmm. by Spidey. Yeah, that's him f wrapping up the ass kicking of the. Uh, yeah, and I don't think we've ever seen him again. Yeah, well, he kicked their ass really good. That's yeah, funny. yeah, they're they're done. It's a time. It's time to unmask. Yeah, they unmasked, went to jail, and probably just stayed there. Yeah. I gotta get the Amazing Spider-Man. Okay. Yep. And uh, I'll take that out. <laughs> you got it. It's there. <laughs> you putting a run to Howard and Duck together? Or? No, I just uh, that would be the first one actually. Oh yeah. I've never actually seen one, so oh. I just figured I'd grab it. Nope. Awesome. Because uh, yeah, Howard the Duck's like one of my favorites. I know. I've, I've uh, heard you talk about him numerous times, which yeah. just kind of sparked my interest. I talk it up. <laughs> you know, yeah. so it's uh, I mean, it's dumb. You know, I mean, I just want to let you know. I mean, it's a co it's kind of comedic book. You know, yeah. it's uh, yeah. Oh yeah, no, no, I've I've heard about it. Yeah, I have a friend who actually um, used to have a bunch of them. Yeah, I love. I think I, the name like Howard the Duck, you kind of know what you're getting into. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love the Howard the Duck movie too. And that Spider Man right there, I am very excited about. Oh good, good. <laughs> Because it's the first appearance of the shock, or is it just something just, in a run that you're, that you're trying to fill in? Th that number right there has, has been evading me for quite some time. Oh, yeah. I think it's been on the wall for maybe two weeks. So oh, really? Yeah, it hasn't been in, it hasn't been in long. So. I haven't been in here for like two months. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, because for a while there, I've seen you almost every week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're going to go home and read it tonight, right? Um, yeah, absolutely. I've read pretty much 1 through 50. Except for that one, I no. couldn't find. So, and, and you know, someone, it's so much better holding the book oh, and reading absolutely. it than, than looking at pictures online yeah. re reading it, isn't yeah, it? But it's yeah. impossible to get, you know, a number one or oh, yeah. two or three. Right. Or Got a Daredevil twelve here. The cover not connected. It's too bad. The insides look. The insides look really good too. Me and Buff just witnessed this girl over here in this tiny blue car do a three point turn to get into that parking space. <laughs> it was really. It was, it was a comedic. <laughs> Yeah, and the car is tiny. It's car's microscopic. Yeah, and she swings in, pulls back out, pulls back out. So how many cars is she gonna hit there. when she backs out of the parking better, spot? Where are you parked? Annette's got my car okay, today, so it. yeah, it's <laughs> not, it's <laughs> not. Yeah, I feel, I feel safe. Yeah. yeah. There's a man without fear, and sh men shall call him ox. Just men. Men, yeah. Women, can, women can call whatever they want. Yeah, but men shall call him ox. That's what it says. All right. Yeah. So again, That's it's fine. another another really beat up book. What if you're fluid? What do you call him then? I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> 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 trying, to, trying to press the right buttons didn't work. Yeah, no. Is your first gladiator appearance? Yeah, those gloves seem a little uh, impossible. This could hurt somebody. Yeah, but how does he get them to work? It's just it's a glove with a buzz saw on it. Yeah, and then you go like this. How do you power the saw though? What makes it spin? I don't know. Maybe he's a mutant. What? Maybe maybe he powers buzz saws. I don't know how he powers the buzz saws. I've never, I've never actually read the full origin of Gladiator, so how he powers the muscles. Maybe there's a battery, po battery a powered battery thing in there. I don't know. Like a nine volt. Yeah. Why not? I don't buy it. Maybe he's got electric coursing through his body, so mm. he's close to being an electro. So why don't you just use that as your power instead of some stupid <laughs> glove? Because he's not too bright. <laughs> okay. Did you watch the Did you watch the dead, uh, the Daredevil Netflix yes. shows? Yes. The guy that was the guy that was making him his suit and stuff. Right. That was Gladiator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't too bright. Is that the owl? 
the villain in the coat, the green cape on. Yeah, it looks like the owl. Let me, I got, I got a sticker over his face. Yeah. Yep, that's the owl. Now he flies around. And he goes, who, 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 who? Never seen him do that in the book. What was the last time you read the owl? Um, wasn't he in the the Bendis run at one point? Maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's when the last time I read the owl. Huh. You, you he might going who? He might have done. He might have done the who thing. Yeah. Oh, I think he did. I went. I think he goes who, 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 Or sometimes it's just who, who, who. It depends on how he's, on who he's what calling is, to. Do you have a few medication today? <laughs> he's not talking to owls. Talk, got, that's not got, a power. You've got, he got does screeching not talk to owls. owls. you got the screeching he owls. you got a barn owl. Owls. There's different hoots of different owls, too. Mm. I know, because I've got a few of them up in the woods behind my house. You're a hoot. See, I don't know. I actually don't know what the problem is here. I mean, behold the beetle. the beetle. He's, right, right. So he's fighting the beetle. Why yeah. did he just bring a can of raid? It's not that kind of beetle. Look at his freaking hands what is he doing with those i don't think i don't know if it's the same beetle as the beetle it can't be no this, this, is, a, this, this is a bad beetle right 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 well, the other beetle was bad the spider-man villain I'm blue beetle yeah the uh the spider-man villain that was the beetle now look at that he he just swung as hard as he could at doom what's there's doom doing no right now those two guys should be right. squaring off right doom's just, laughing there's no way yeah doom is laughing right now that's a mistake by marvel Put that on the cover. would you rather buy daredevil smack and doom not believe or oh no you're right or the Jester. You figured Daredevil can beat the, the Jester. You would think, but look at, he's getting his ass kicked by the Jester. Yeah, well, no one laughs at him. No. Oh. Daredevil laughed at yeah, him. Yeah, he laughed and look what happened. Well, look what he did to Doom. Nothing. Well, no, but he's, is he still standing up, though? But so this is actually 44. So he kills the Jester. Because he's a murderer now. It took him three issues to do it. Because the Jester's a badass. Maybe not. You're my Jester. Maybe you Daredevil, Daredevil doesn't want to kill anybody. <laughs> right. So he may, it was an accident. Do you think he murdered him? Accidentally killed him. That's what I'm guessing. It looks like a ghosty type of specter image in the background, and this is I murderer. So yeah, but he could have been the murderer. Who Jester? Yeah. No. You don't think Jester murdered Daredevil? Or or some guy walking down the street? That's fine. Or this cop right here? I mean, look, he just uh, he just threw something at the cop. Cop's like, oh my god, my head, that hurt. Oh and, my god, my head, that hurt. Yeah. What do you think it says then? I have no idea, but it doesn't say, oh my god, my head, that hurt. <laughs> Inside pages look pretty, I mean, yeah. this, this is... this is just, just, yep. just dilapidated. Yep. All right, I still don't see what's going on with the with the jester here. I don't see anyone got murdered yet. Oh, this is how it's I murder. Daredevil's trying to help him. He doesn't realize that it's all a stunt. Someone's taking pictures. A little click, mm -hmm. click, click action going here. Help, help, Daredevil is trying to kill me. Frame job. Yep. He For broke real. away from me, can't reach him. Daredevil, no, no! He's gone. Wow, Daredevil, well, he, of course he didn't see it coming. He's blind. But they, there's like a whole movie crew here. There's a whole movie crew here uh, taping him. <laughs> he should have heard that going. Well, they, they didn't do a splash, but they made a big giant sploosh of coming out here. Mm. But I really think there should have been a sploosh. Yeah. And you fall from this it's bridge. Here, right? If you fall from this bridge... It won't hurt the it won't hurt the grating on it anymore. I mean, yeah. I mean, look at the that's torn that's cover. It's a, yeah, no, the cover's actually good. There's a, just a little tear on it, you know. Now they think he's a murderer, but the jester's back. He's taking over a TV station. I was totally misled by that yep. cover. Yep, I murderer. No, he was framed. It wasn't murder for anything. Daredevil is still a hero. So no, Matt Murdock will defend Daredevil with the murder charges. Yeah, I don't think Foggy knew he was Daredevil yet at this time. This is the first time I've ever looked at I murderer. I've never oh, read this issue. That was really that was, action packed. Yeah, it was. It was. It was interesting. I didn't see that frame job coming. Yep. Either. Nope. I didn't see the frame job. I had no idea what was going on. And that that cop that hurt his head too. That was that was I like your that was very dramatic. It's tough to reread. Spider Man stuff is still good to reread. I even think some of the Iron Man stuff I think held up okay. Some of the early Fantastic Four held up, but some of the early Daredevil stuff now is really a tough. It's a tough read to go back and go back and look at it. That's why you can give that. To Daredevil stuff away for years. Yep, it's not like '60s DC stuff, but yeah. it's um, it, it was still yeah. Some some of it just didn't hold up, just didn't hold up to time. But that I murder it did. I'm actually interested in finding issue number 45 now and 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 seeing what happened to Daredevil. I thought may, maybe he went to jail. You're the one who made me bring it home. Huh. Buster one that said, I don't like the Black Panther books. I'm not. I don't want to really try this. But Ken Hale's supposed to be in it, right. and he goes, What if you got to lose? Right. He goes, it's not you, like you even pay for it. Right, right. It. You're oh, reading okay, it for yeah, free. Yeah. What do you? What have you got to lose? And I yeah. said, and I thought about this. You know, you're right. I enjoy. I enjoyed it a lot. Buffy to, was the voice of reason. He was Buffy, the voice of reason. Wow. wow. Your fan is gonna be happy about that. Yeah. So yeah, Buff was the voice of reason. Yeah. Got you. Now, did you read it? No. 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 
and just talks you into that song. Yeah, I don't think I don't think there's a character in there. I'd have to pay for yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. And I don't think there's a character in there that Buff has any. Yeah, I don't think so. Allegiance I mean, to either, you know. It's everyone likes Gorilla Man, so you know that's right, the, right. But I mean, like I do like Black Panther, but I like Black yeah. I like Black Panther in a team book, like with the Avengers and stuff. I, I'm not a big solo Black Panther guy. I thought it was good. D-list characters put together. If you do it in a good story, you only get a little of each D-list character. And then you get the Sentry. And, and then, then what, and what's the what was the fat guy? The fat uh, Fat Cobra. Uh, fat Cobra's in it too. That guy's that that, that guy's cool too. And there was really no Ken Hill. It's one page. About that part. Well, we know he's gonna be. He'll be later. We'll, we'll see. It. He'll, but I don't want to see that stupid brood kid, though. I don't want the brood kid either. Black Panther and the Agents of Wakanda was actually a worthwhile, was a worthwhile book, mm -hmm. because of the the new Spider Man book. Yes. The the everyone wants the first appearance now of Benjamin Parker. So the first appearance was Spider Girl 50, 59. Which, like I said, I had like six or seven people on Wednesday come in mm. looking for Spider Girl 59. Where do you keep your Spider Girl stuff? Oh, down on the dollar stuff. I need one issue to finish my run. I need issue 59. Oh, that's kind of coincidental today, you know, right? Mm. Um, and it got to the point where someone's asking, hey, where's your Spider Girl? We don't have that issue. How do you know which one I'm looking for? You're looking for 59. Yeah. I mean, so Benjamin Parker was actually Benjamin Parker was in the issue number two of this last Avengers storybook. Mm -hmm. So now they're saying, is this the first appearance of them? Or is the other one the first appearance? Technically this is this came out before it. I don't think it's the same Benjamin Parker as the one from Spider Girl. But now there's some interest in this book and it's starting to go up. So what I like about coming here is he's very personable. He'll talk to you. It isn't like I want your money and get out of here. You know what I mean? If you need something, he'll help you out. It's personal. When I spend my money, I like that personal. You know what I mean? I don't want that, hey, take this, get out of here kind of thing. You know what I mean? He doesn't care if you're coming here for talk for 20 minutes. Don't buy anything. When you come back in and say, how you doing? And not to waste my time. You know? That's the personal thing is goes a long way. Oh, a bunch of different stuff. Terrifics. Love the Terrifics. The um, Plastic Man's probably my favorite character ever. I'm not a huge DC fan, but Plastic Man I love. White Knight. Punisher Kill Crew. That one's actually really, really good. I liked it. The last, the last two issues were pretty damn good, I thought. Powers of X. Obviously, well, a lot of people are hating on it, but the story is actually getting really good, especially since the last issue with the ending of the last issue was I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, Wolverine gonna have Wolverine. I don't know. Just just because it's an annual, something new, possibly something different, hopefully. And Shazam, loving Shazam. I don't know, he's another one of my favorites. Just because I don't know, can't explain it but I like DC but uh, I lean a little bit towards Marvel. It's just the character um, the characters are a little bit better, story-wise, a little bit better. It's like uh, plus, there's a lot more characters in my eyes. I'm just more. I've always been a Marvel fan, but it's hard for me because my favorite character is a DC character, which is Plastic Man, and he's you know a lot of people don't like him. And Miles Morales, he's my favorite Spider-Man. Movie was awesome, yes, but I mean the comic book, I couldn't really follow it too much. But the movie I thought was awesome. I like Miles. He's my favorite Spider-Man. Hands down. You can't beat a Marvel. Their, their whole thing, everything, all the movies coming together is just perfect. Not Maybe not perfect, but it's good. What DC can't, doesn't seem to either, either want to do it or can't do it. I, I like the Shazam movie. I thought it was pretty cool. It, it, that's where the comic books seem to be following, kind of. You know, yeah. all the kids getting together, it's awesome. All in all, the DC movies seem to be falling flat, kind of. But I'd love to see like a Weapon H invo evolve in involved in the um, Marvel Universe, but that's just me. I like the combination of Hulk and Wolverine. That, I hope they bring that comic book back, that was a good one. And then that um, the Hulk Hulkvarians, I thought that was a pretty cool concept. They all battled each other. I come here and I seem to find everything I want. You know, I've never really been disappointed except for I kind of let um, the Daredevil series kind of slip as I was reading other stuff, and I can't seem to find Daredevil number six. And I've asked Glenn, and I, he says that's the only one, only reprint, the only one they haven't reprinted yet, and it's, it's frustrating because I can't, I can't. 
I'm stuck at number five now. I can't just keep going. <laughs> My wife loves Harley Quinn. And it's a black label, black label book, and black label seems to be good for the adult audience. I love it. I love it. just more artwork, more stuff to look at, you know. I mean, and as well as they can fit a little bit more story into it other than, you know, a lot of these books where one whole, like one whole panel will be just, you know, it's hard to, can't really see in the terrifics because it's mainly, there's a lot of story line going in here, but, and there's a couple pages in some books where you won't get any type of people saying anything. It'll just be like, oh, boom, bam, smash, oh, we did this, crash, and it's, Artwork might be good, but I'd rather see a lot. I'd rather see artwork with, you know, an actual story that goes along with it. Like, that actually looks interesting. The Joker looks crazy in that. People are all up in arms about that Joker movie. Uh, they're trying to stop it from going to the movie theaters before it even started now because they're saying that it will cause the youth to lash out in violence. Are you crazy? It's just a movie. I mean, and he hasn't even come out yet. I'm hyped for that movie. I want to see that. A lot of people are saying, oh, well, evil, you know, evil villain, uh, villains shouldn't have their own movies, but I don't see why not. You know, it's, I mean, it's not sticking to DC's whole uh, universe or anything. It's just a one-shot type deal, but I'm in it. I'm in for it. I love the Joker. I'm contradicting myself because I say I'm not a huge DC fan, but... Yeah, DC has a lot of good villains, a lot of really good villains. Usually about forty dollars, unless I come here and see something up there that I really, really want, and then I just uh, I ended up kicking myself in the ass because I'm like, gotta get that one before before somebody else does, and usually it's Brown Alex. <laughs> this one, I, ha I have this one, but I don't have it great. It's up there too. Don't have it in the case, but just by looking at it, it's probably. Uh, Hopefully about a nine, the one I got at home. I was thinking about getting this one just so I can have a good one and one I can read because kind of like Glenn, I don't like having something that I can't go back and read later on. You know, it's kind of. I didn't even. I didn't even tease him. It's kind of like defeats the point. You know what? Yeah, pretty much. Because I mean, you think about like now the movie, the the Venom movie. If you wanted to go back and read something like this and get it in the case. What are you gonna do, break it open? No. Then you have to spend them all the money all over again to put it back in. Go ahead and tell me you have a plastic man in here. <laughs> they have one Funko Pop that I was thinking about grabbing, but. You see the one I have? Um, well, you have a plastic man one? Yeah. No way. My friend Ross bought it for me. That's the one. That's yeah. the one I gotta find. There are so few Plastic Man fans that I like to leave it here just so we can so we can look at it together. You yeah, know, it's, that's awesome. Yeah, once it goes home, nobody cares. You know, <laughs> my, yeah. my wife doesn't care about Plastic Man. Mm -hmm. The guys that come over the house to play cards, I got, I've got everything down in my cellar where we play cards stuff. Um, some of the comic guys, there's not one Plastic Man no. fan am amongst them. So. No. I want to get a Plastic Man tattoo, but at the same time, people will be like, what the hell is that? You know? Yeah. But, but hey, who cares? Yeah. You know what it is. Shit. No, I got to run out to my car. I think I left my wallet in my car. Okay. I'll be right back. Yep. Not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is hay roll. You know, you think I only got two pockets. You'd think I would um, remember not having my wallet, but... Damn it. <laughs> Mike? No, that's his mother. Oh. My mother said that she went to school with you. I used to come here as a kid. When okay. I was like real young. As a kid? Le you're on, you're <laughs> still <on. laughs> I'm, I'm 23, but uh, <laughs> Lana Haynes, I don't know if that rings a bell to you, but she claims that she went to school with you at, okay. at probably Haverhill High School. What was her maiden name? Uh, or that skates. Skates. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lana Skates. Yeah. 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 I'm her son, but okay. um, I've just I just wanted to get your opinion on some books that I have. Okay, that's that's really it. I'm not yep. really looking to sell them or anything. Just just kind of conversation, I guess. Yep. If you will, if you have the time. If not, it's it's no problem. No, I got a little time right now. So you a Spider-Man fan? I am. Yeah, yep. definitely. And uh, definitely with the passing of uh, Stan Lee, I feel like the the value of the books have uh, really skyrocketed. Oh. Yep. 
Oh, you haven't seen this too often. I have like so many more books at my house. Yeah. I just these were like the I feel the most valuable. And yeah. I just, just kind of want an opinion. I, I don't know if I'm really gonna sell them or not, but uh, just been holding on to them for quite some time. So. Uh, if you ever if you're ever looking to sell them, I'd be I'd be interested. I'd definitely okay. be interested. Okay. Yeah, these are all. Uh, I mean, it's 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 six a lot of sixties, you know, sixties Spider-Man early. Um, you know, early hundreds, hundreds. I mean, missing a few of the key issues, but it's still there's still there's some value. There. Yeah, there's still yeah, there's still some good bucks. Yeah, 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 definitely. And I mean, I have a lot of the the two hundreds and three hundreds as well. Yeah, even even some of that, even some of the three hundreds, the Todd McFarlane stuff is is, okay. is is you know is good. Yeah, yeah. I'm not too educated. Okay. With, with it all. Yeah. Okay, but I I got my hands on quite a few books, and yeah. uh, I've just been like. Me and my girlfriend would fight a lot, and I just like to outbid people on eBay on some books. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> that's kind of how I started getting into it. Yeah. And yeah, now I've just been sitting on these for a long time. So Can I like, take this out and look at it? My dad's actually a land surveyor, and there was a piece of land that they were going to tear down. He yeah. had a little library in the back, and he... He let me go on the property, and I found that book and a couple of these yeah. older ones. Yeah, the cover. Yeah, the cover's not connected on yeah, this. So yeah, so that takes the value way Yeah, yeah. But I actually didn't buy that. I, I found that. Yeah, it's still nice. It's number ten. It's still, it's still, it's still a nice book, and it's too bad. I mean, because I mean, the, the pages, the pages still look. I mean, they're they're browning, but um, they're in good shape. The there's no dings. There's no cuts in the page. It's just too bad that the the cover's, the cover's not connected. Yeah. 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 Um, I think I might hold on to them for a little bit longer. Huh. I'm not really sh too sure what I want to do with them yet. I'm definitely interested if you decide you want to sell them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely interested. Cool. Even the cover, even the one with the cover is not connected. It's still yeah. worth a few bucks. You know, you get the death of Gwen Stacy here. Yeah. It's Spectacular Spider-Man 1. That's still a decent book. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some ghosts. There's a, I, there's, there's a Ghost Rider I collected as a kid. You know, I yeah. love yeah, I love the Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and you and you get some. I mean, you just got some cool old. Yeah. You know, nothing in great grades. You know, no, but no, it's no. um. But there's still. I mean, people. It's still sought after. It's a lot easier to find. I mean, they're a little cheaper because they're in lesser grades than being a, than being a mint book. People can afford them. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Like I said, I'm not as as educated as most of you guys are on these books yep, but yep. um i have quite a few and i have a lot more in my apartment like I, mean, I have like some like green lantern like all like just like other other completely other kind of comic book i mean i look at those two i'm interested in these so yeah you decide you want to sell all right yeah cool. bring well, them thank in, you right? very much guys. yeah it's good I to meet you, it. good yep, to meet good, you yep. i'm cody um ch -ch -ch kill crew you liking it I'm, i am yeah me too yep yep i really I like am where it's going i'm i'm loving power me too really <sighs> It is like, I mean, it is so good. I didn't like it at first. I just, I just read the whole thing last night, um, and I was like, man, I should have given this more of a chance. I told you, like, yeah, amazing I, where the, where they took it. Woo! Yeah. When they were bringing everyone back from the dead with the five mutants. I am embarrassed. I'm embarrassed that I put down Hickman and House of X and Powers of X because I should have given it a shot. Yeah. Because it was it, it it was so good. It's amazing. I like. I I can't wait. Like I have. Every week, I have to come in and at least pick up this I'm issue. Balls, I'm still not reading it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not reading it. I was just, I was just, I was me. just, I was just busting you. Yeah, yeah, they got me. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm glad you got excited about it, though. I mean, I'm I glad. Do. I'm glad to see someone's excited about the book, and um, that was good. And. Um, I just didn't want to lead you on longer, you know. <laughs> you, you could have left. You could have left. You could have left it. Oh my God, he does <laughs> like it now. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to do that to you. When I'm telling a fictional story, I like to tell by, you know, I like to let people know before they leave or whatever that it was just a story of fiction. Okay. So, well, so I was telling you a fictional story. Is the uh, absolute carnage immortal Hulk real or? Well, that's definitely real. Yeah. Leading me on to that. No, too? no, no. But you want me to? I, I can, I'll tell you a story about that too. I'll say, you know, it's, I'll make something up tell if you me want. What it's about. Yeah. <laughs> this book is messed up. I read it last night. No. No, I, I didn't. I, don't know. I, I read it. Well, you know it's messed up. You're looking at yeah, it. I yeah, know, yeah, I know. I yeah. know it's messed up. Yeah. I am reading. I, I read it. Uh, my wife read it first. And then um, she threw it over into my pile, and uh, yeah, I picked it up, and I look, and I go, "What is wrong with this book? It's wrong, but it's 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 weird, but you can't not read it, exactly. you know? Yeah, it's so yeah. good, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I, yeah, I really, I really like it. And Brian Azzarello's out there, anyways. You know, he's uh, 
he's written so he, he writes some out there stuff so yeah but yeah no that's uh that was good these covers are insane the like, the the ones in a bag there yeah like yeah. i just can't wait to go home and like rip it open and like just show it to my wife just <laughs> to get a reaction you should look at some stuff that happens in crossed Garth Ennis started the book. It was probably the most vile thing I've ever read in comic books. I mean, you got, you got people humping dolphins and shit, you know? It's, uh, yeah. And it's almost like, you, you, a lot of people said they turn into zombies, but they don't. They just turn into, like, the most depraved beings that there's in a cross. It like, looks like it got burnt into their face. Uh -huh. And then they just have, they'll screw anything, they'll murder anything. Um, what your most depraved thinking is, you go to that. Um, so, yeah, at, at that point, there's not many humans, like, live humans around because they're all been raped and murdered by the uh and eaten by the cross and uh yeah i mean there's there's some sick shit that goes on in that book oh it went on in that book it, it doesn't come out anymore it went i don't know maybe 100 issues or something that yeah, started off with garth ennis then it turned to um like david lampham then a bunch of other writers and garth ennis came back and wrote a little of it someone else started wrote it again and yeah it's 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 messed up but it's a great it's a great book I got them in trades. They're all, you know, it's. I don't want trades. Yeah. You know, I only want the comics. Well, I've got some some of the comics, but I don't have the whole. Yeah, I don't have. I would, the whole I would need to start number one to. Yeah, the first trade is twelve issues, I think, or mm -hmm. ten issues. If you even picked up the second trade, you didn't need to read the first trade. You need to read the first trade to get it. You could almost pick up any book, and okay, get so what's it's going on. Like Marvels. Yeah, and uh, going on. Hmm. yeah, you know, I mean, everyone else is just different. It went end, it ended. Then it showed another spot of what happened with Cross and another spot. And then you got, you know, like issue 50 something. You're like, hey, I think this guy was back, was here back in the so He just happened to make it across the country to where they were telling the story. But then you don't see, you don't see that guy, you don't see that guy again. It was just all different stories about the, about the Cross. So, yeah, that was, that was one of the good things. You could pick, you could, if you missed one trade, you pick it up and you could just read it and, and know it was gone. Yeah, that was messed up. And then they did, um, like 12 different covers and stuff. They did your tame cover, your, your horror cover, or your, um, I don't know, the adult cover, or I don't know what they called it, but like there was one they had, they had um, a slide. It was all razor blades and shit sucking out, and the, and the, and the, but they're pushing babies down it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Sounds like my yeah. kind of book. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of people get offended by that shit, so. <laughs> yeah. People get offended by anything. That's true. Days. I mean, we, we're talking about this, it could be. Whew. I'm picking up my weekly stuff. Yeah, Superior Spider Man, Action Comics. Got to stay current with the absolute carnage stuff. And then Rick and Morty and Thanos. And a couple dollar things. And this. Currently, that's out right now. I, I mean, I'm, I'm digging the absolute carnage stuff. Um, I, I dig the, uh, the Superior Spider-Man storyline. I've been liking that. I started reading all the, the whole burn run of Alpha Flight. So I've been reading that. And it's painful but it's good <laughs> so i come here weekly um at least once a week sometimes i'll pop in on a friday i mean i'll go to a couple other stores but you can touch things in this store i've been in stores where i've gone under the table to grab something fast enough for the price of it and they're like where'd you grab it underneath the table no, don't do that again it's like why do you have stuff in your store if you don't want to sell it <laughs> like you know, if there's a hot book that comes out and I want to grab it, and, you know, it's speculation or or it's just a good read. I hate feeling like when I go up to the register, I'm being judged if I only get like a couple books and it's like, <laughs> well, I, I read my comics. I don't just buy them to give them away. I don't hate the speculators. I, I respect it. But at the same sense, it sucks when I go into a store and 30 books, you know, someone ordered I, Glenn I don't usually have the issue with but I've gone to stores before and it's like I've seen people with like seven of the same book and they're going to go check out and it's like well, what if I wanted to read that <laughs> now it's sold out but I don't know I don't know I mean I've been to a few stores where the store speculates and takes the books off the shelves before anyone else can get them and then they don't sell them to people and it's like cool well, why it's awful because you'll go to the counter and you can see it behind the counter and you'll be like oh what's that book right there and you turn it upside down flip it and it's like <laughs> dick <laughs> What about Powers of X? Did you read that this week? Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did you? I did. It was great. I'm firing that book, too. I sat in the parking lot of my kid's huh. school going to pick her up, and I brought the entire series with me, and I was like, I'm going to start over. And I started reading it, and I was like, I don't know what I'm reading anymore. I actually brought them all back because I felt bad that, I've, that I gave it such 
a harsh review after two episodes, two issues. I says, I have to go back and read all these. And I wrote back and says, this guy is brilliant. I can't believe um, how good this book, yeah, how yeah. good these books are. Yeah, I mean, I'll have buyer's <laughs> remorse when I don't buy yeah. it and I still don't care. See, he knows it. He knows. He knows that I'm that I'm I'm, I'm doing a line of bold. Yeah, that was oh, great, oh, Devin. Though. Devin, no, yeah. I just did it to another guy that was in here, yeah. and he believed. Really? Yeah, I love it. And I just I just went on and on no, with him about no, it. It's, no, it's garbage. Yeah. It's garbage. I don't even want that book to touch the other books I get weekly. Yeah, I mean, because it's poisoning your other books. Yeah, it is. Right. If it, it touched is. your other book, that book would probably be bad juju right, now. Right. Yeah. Bad juju. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want my books to stay good. I don't want them right. to start. Going it's like crazy. it's like it's like if you put something with mold on it, yeah. it jumps it to the other thing. Yeah, it just it grows. Right. Right, Ter so terrible books are contagious. Right, I mean, so I mean, you got some books here. I mean, I mean, this Thanos book is pretty decent. Yeah, yeah right? I've been enjoying it. Right. Well, you won't if it touched the if it touched no, the powers no. of X book. Like I read this. This is an all ages book. Yep. I read that after I read a bunch of just serious, uh, serious stuff. It was just a fun, enjoyable book. Oh, yeah, it's all turn to comics. I think the guy's out of Nashua that does these books. Okay. All the books are a dollar fifty to like a dollar ninety nine. Yep. Uh, they're all on newspaper print. Good, good stuff. The first issue of Bad Reception by Aftershock was good. Category zero. It's, it's by Scout. It's up to issue five now. I've been enjoying. I've been enjoying that book. Not a lot of people buy it. I read Faithless last night. Again, that book's messed up. Gods and Gears. This one's. Uh, this is a rated E for everyone. I read that towards the end of the night. Again, to cleanse the palate. Yep. Cleanse the palate of all the, all the, um, horror and all the darkness stuff you watch, and you just get a little funny read. And so you, so, so, you, so you don't have nightmares at night. Right. So well, I used to, scared I used to, when you go to bed. Well, I used to try to read Cross before I went to bed. So it was. Uh, <laughs> 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 this book Mall has been good. Um, something's happened. No one goes outside the mall, and people are living in the mall. And again, different caste systems. The upper end of the mall is your your richer people that are living. The, the bottom is, you know, the the lower class, yep. and they're all fighting for what's what, what's going on. I mean, you've, you've, you've read something like that all the time, you know, but it was still, it was still the cycle list. I read this. That was good. Man of Black, Cullen Bunn book. I read issue one. That was good. I didn't get to issue number two. Pandemica. This is actually a reorder. I read this. It came out like two weeks ago. This was, this was good, too. Red Winter is great, and I don't know if this is the last issue, because if it is, it ended really weird. Um, it ended. It just ended. It ended wrong. Yeah, yeah. Like so. I mean, so the the way the book ended, I go. This can't be the end. And there wasn't another page after it. So I'm hoping there's an issue four. I don't remember. I. I so. Yeah. Yeah. And if it is, it's kind of disappointing because that book was really. That book was again. That book was really good too. This ride book, I've, I, mean, I enjoy. I can't believe this book has been coming out for 15 years. And it doesn't come out all the time. It, it'll disappear for two, three years. And then a mini series will come out. Uh, but yeah, because yeah, they're talking about the 15 years, 15 years of the ride. It's like, man, I was, I've been reading this since it's come out. And there's only been like, I don't know, maybe five series or whatever. Yeah. But um, it's always, it's always this. And, and most of it's always about the car. It's, yeah. the, it's the car. I have no idea. Um, it's by Antarctic Press. Uh, She's making. She she does scratch tattoos. Well, shit's happening. Like they're coming to life on people and stuff, and making them making them murder and and whatnot. This was uh this was interesting. This book was interesting enough to try it to try a second issue. Yeah. Scrimshaw. Yeah. I'm I'm it's I'm glad this was the last issue. If they, if they do a third volume, I probably won't read. I probably won't read it. This show's end. I like. I got issues one and two back in stock. They would, uh, three hasn't come out yet. This girl finds a carnival. You find out in issue one that she's actually a monster. Her mother kept her locked up in a cage. Her father wanted her dead. Um, and you find out that uh, um, that she finds that she finds a carnival. Then when someone uh, someone was doing something to the carnival, she went she came and went berserk and just started uh, started munching on people. This white trees number one was was good. I didn't read. I didn't read number two, and I think I'm done with the Tommy Gun Wizards. Had a good concept and stuff, but I don't think I'm sticking with it. I just made that decision right now. It's fired. It's fired. Yeah, I got it at home, but it, it's a, it's in my wife's pile. Right when she's, there on the spot. Yeah, when she's done reading it, when she's yeah. done reading, it's coming back. It's not it's not staying in. Did you get your Care Bears book this week? Look at this, Care Bears, unlock the magic. Now I don't know what it means by unlock the ma unlock the magic. Like, is it pulling down someone's zipper or something? Right, yeah. Or this could be something right here. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. got a little like toy on top. Too, yeah, you know, yeah. Just to Care Bears it. unlock the magic. I sell like two or three of these a month. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually have one adult that buys it, and the rest are just kids. You know, the kids. Yeah, it's, yeah. Out of the twenty books that I read last night, I would probably say 
I loved probably 10 of them. And eight of them were really good. And then the other two, like I said, you, you just heard me. It, they, they went into the office. They got fired. But when X-Men 1 comes out, the New Mutants, they're doing an X-Force, Marauders. Fallen and, Angels. Yeah, Fallen Angels. I will try them because they, they, each of them have some characters that I actually like. But I'll tell you right now, all those issues are on short leashes. I mean, we're talking choker chains. Okay, so... Well, that's the thing. I mean, I liked how Uncanny was going. And then... This happened. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, I liked the Age of Apocalypse whole story. I did too. Going. Yep, I thought I that was like cool. That. I thought it was creative. I thought, you know. But this sucks. <laughs> I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. I thought the first issue, I, I was like, oh, maybe it won't be that bad. And the red, what was it? House of House of Ten came out first, or House of X? Or House of X came out first. Yeah, Powers of Ten came yeah, out. Powers of Ten. I'm calling it Powers of X. I'm not even going to give it its right no, title. It doesn't no, deserve no, to be called no, Ten. No. <laughs> And I read it, and I was like, "Oh, this isn't this isn't bad. Maybe this will be good." And then I, no, no. Then I read the one that takes place in the future. I think that's Powers. Didn't like it. And I was like, "I'll keep reading it anyways." And now I've just been buying the books. And now <laughs> I just feel like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you're I'm thanking you though. <laughs> yeah. Because you know something. There's nothing better than someone just coming and buying the book, not even reading it. That that's yeah. great. Well, <laughs> thank you for your five dollars. I appreciate you know, it. Maybe if we get a rainstorm and I got wet wood, I'll have something to start a fire with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know something? Yeah, you don't like it. There's nope. again, there's there's 300 more books you can choose from and try and try something else. I yeah. mean, right. So I mean, that's why no, it's I not a big deal. From, I'm caught up on all my all the books that have been coming out. So I resorted back to reading Alpha Flight, the first, the, the burn run. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I kind of feel that way too right now. <laughs> it's like every time you open up, a, like, I think I'm on issue four or five, and it's every time you turn it on, you, you, you open up the book, it starts giving you the history of, like, the Vindicator again. <laughs> I'm like, you, this is the first four pages of every comic right now. Like, why are we doing this? Back out of the hospital, the side effect of chemotherapy had me swelling up like a tick. Well, I'm going to try Marvel Team Up again. Strike Force looks like it'd be a lot of fun if they do it right. And the Superior Spider Man this week. Also, the Avengers. And depending on the artwork, I might even pick up Miles Morales. It's a big week for Marvel. Not a lot of DC going on. Kind of a small week. Lots out, but not lots I'm picking up. I have not heard anything at all about Ghost Spider. Artwork is different. One person should be singled out. Like, yeah, remember, you, remember Martin Luther King, King did not no. rise above the rest of the civil rights movement. Not no, at all. No, he didn't. Nah. No, 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 he didn't. Good cover. Seven ninety nine. dollars You probably won't see Batman's penis in this one. Again, nice artwork on the inside. If it was crappy artwork, I'd already put it down. Not my favorite artwork, but not bad. Yeah, I don't think they're a bad idea. You just better make sure it's a good story at seven ninety nine. dollars of course, it also means gigantic ads in the back. However, in this case, it's a story that's already been told. Once again, I'm going to have to wait for a review before I spend $8 on a comic book. I'm paying for cancer. That's a big enough bill. But again, not really sure what all is going on with the story. I haven't picked up all the year of the villain stuff. That's the double-edged sword when it comes to these things. Maybe it's going to be great. Maybe I don't feel like spending the money when I don't know what the story is all about. I think that's going to be it for me this week. Except maybe. I'm still a sucker for the Goblin, so they'll get me on Amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> It shows you dedication to, to, to reading comics because I mean, yeah, I, 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 I didn't think you were going to make it to the back of the store that day. Yeah, you know, I, I, was, I wasn't uh, sure I was going to yeah, make it to the back of the yeah. store that day. But yeah. three weeks I was going through my withdrawal, man. Yeah. My comic yeah. Yeah. The original V coming out on, D on DVD. Should be interesting or Blu-ray. No, I don't really, know, I don't really necessarily think we need it. You know, neither do I. But uh, hey, some people are actually reading yeah. more power to them. Yep, yeah, yeah. People like it, and uh, people like it. Good for them. They they got something that they've been waiting for. So I look at it. I remember reading it and going, or watching it and going, eh, not bad. Yeah. But he never did quite enough. <laughs> yeah. But that was it. it. Not bad. I don't want to watch it again. Exactly. And 25 years later, I definitely don't want to watch it. Exactly. Yeah.
Guys, have a great day. All right, we'll see you later. Thank you.